Okay, being a black folk and anybody new here, uh, keep coming back and all those new subscribers, thanks a lot. And this is Beano Black. And you can see if you go to Navy's. So currently we've got smaller uh, comments hitting the sun and I you just seen it as I showed you uh, the video. Let me go to that. So I'll try to take you to as many of these real fast. So everybody keep coming back. And yes, everybody knows that the sun is flaring and it has flared and flares all the time, but not this much at one time, okay? Look at how much is going around and flaring. Even up in the dark area, it's flaring, okay? So the sun's getting its ass kicked, and let's watch it here on the... So if you go to these videos, folks, you will see massive material here. You just have to go to... And that was a CME because it electronically disturbs the data getting set in for the photos because it's electrical data, and then they put it, this up. So that's why lots of objects... So if there's something beating up against the sun, you're not going to see it because they'll take it out of the shot. Okay, but there's a lot of this stuff that they don't get time to peel away and you end up seeing where that more than likely caused that burst right there or either either as you will check out that there are objects hitting the sun in the supergiants folks. Okay, so if you keep peeking into all the videos, I'm going to pull some of these down as we go through, you will see material hit the sun and anything out here is way bigger than Earth, folks. We are the tiniest little grain that you see anywhere in this picture. That's how big the Earth is compared to the size of the sun. So all this other big stuff, any of this stuff here that you end up seeing is bigger than Earth, way bigger than Earth, okay? And there is objects in the supergiants, which if you watch my videos of uh, panties off the supergiants, and basically if you go to my website, you will see that stuff truncated right off at the front on the right hand side right over here if you're lo looking at my web page you'll see the super giants uh, panties off the super giants 2 and the, the number one and uh, the last half dozen or so of my videos so anybody new coming in here people that have always been here before they know that that's kind of a boring shot even though but this will show you material as you always watch the timers and dates I don't have time to sit there and waste language on it to get as much in as I can get in this is all super size material not coming off the sun, folks. The sun is in the supergiants getting its ass kicked. I.e., let me go to another video here. This is basically Fireball. This is a comment in New Mexico sky last night. Okay, and basically I'm going to show you some data real fast on that. It's real close. I.e., this one will even keep, you'll see material showing up on it. So they can't, they don't get time to zero everything out because they have to try to put out and give the scientists the views as fast as possible. And a lot of times the scientists are going to get the whole view. They're going to see a lot of this material no matter what on the views that they get. So I just thought I'd show you that. And then let's show you where Jupiter is in Pisces. So then also the maps real fast so you see what we're going on. This is Jupiter's map today, the 29th, okay? Because you're going to see it down here as we go to it, okay? So there's Jupiter way out the back door. And what I want to do is also, Dutch, if you watch the video, you'll realize that I actually disagree with you because I don't go for the transparency of that humongous meatball that we have in space, okay? So as you can see, Venus is close to the sun right now and also Mercury. So when you see Mars down by the well, it's way, way from the sun because the sun is directly in the center of that hole right there. The sun is always in the well. Okay, Jupiter's way out the back door, and also Saturn's out the other back door on Earth right now. And let's show you uh, more video here, we'll just since it pops up when I come through it. So basically, you'll see all the action that's out there, and the idea that everybody knows that we shield uh, pictures. Uh, I mean, they do on showing you only what they want to let you see off of, and even Navy gets uh, stuff uh, banished from being able to let you see certain things, okay? So the sun is getting, all this is solar flares. It's not just the sun that normally comes off the sun, folks. And let me show you, this is what will freak anybody that hasn't looked at shots of the sun. That is the sun, folks, getting its ass kicked. And as you can see, it's very s severe and very large. And let me pop over to solar real fast, and you'll get an idea from looking at solar that... Uh, I'm going to be showing you some more space stuff here in a second on shots from there. So hang around. Always watch every 15 minutes. A lot of times I'll slip something in at the very end because I just end up finding it before I finish up the video and I try to put it in. So there is your constellation map right live from NASA today. So all these objects are there and you have your constellation that's there right now. And I don't even make comments as I'm showing you the data. You just zoom in and always watch the videos at full screen so you can see all the data that I give you, okay? And yes, that was made up in 2008 or whatever, but the idea that this is basically today's structure of what is out there, folks, okay? M22 is farther away from the sun, so the idea that more than likely Earth is somewhere over this way here, okay? 
and then the stereos are always directly like this across from each other and let's go to solar and you'll see where they're positioned at and so forth through the times and the days once again before we go to solar check this out that the sun is getting its ass kicked okay it's getting the living shit knocked out of it one way or the other either by electrical energy or from uh other planets in the supergiants or not so this is when you're looking at a is always ahead and b is always behind but see that and actually they even show you the exact angle okay this is today's exact angles and the idea on the 28th today this is our time standard time down here where i'm at all the time at least recently i float here to west coast so there you go and there's your angles that the, when you see the camera, it's shooting directly that direction. Now, they do have mirrors and they have reflectors. And when I go to solar here, I keep on saying I'm going to go to solar. Let's go to solar. Look at that massive area of flare, folks. Now, anybody that's been watching the sun for even a sun junkie or a space junkie, that is massive. And what that is, is it's getting its ass kicked or something is rolling up against it like a super giant or something. And those are CMEs, folks, humongous CMEs. As you watched my last few videos... I should be able to open my channel up here in a second. And anybody new here that basically came in here and yes, we'll keep on whatever's the most that we can the biggest fishing lure that we can get people to come in and see the facts and the, is facts, truth, and data. That's all we do. We try to t give you this no news argument. Saying, don't get any money from videos. Now, more than likely, these bright spots that you end up seeing, those are more than likely the mirrors on angles because this is a directly behind shot. Okay. So they have mirrors, and then they propagate and put all that data together and give you a 360-degree view of, 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 let's put it this way, the scientists in NASA can see 360 degrees. And they even when they're putting up the magn uh, netogram, they're showing you a lot less. So the idea that when you see this, okay, well, there's not much going on. So, Bino, you're lying to us. No, I'm not. There's your video, okay? There's your, that's all the data put together, 360 de degrees, not anything screwing you around on giving you colorization to cover up stuff and you'll also even see a lot of stuff that's breaking in and showing up even in the gray area okay because they throw this stuff together real fast and give you and that's what i've been there they don't like me showing you the truth and i give you videos basically of taking the slides and just making a video going one slide one hour one slide one hour and you can see those solar flares that came through so more data and yes pop in and out and we don't have a story we just share data okay so as you can see they will give you the, I'm, we're, I'm back in the government site not the solar solar is basically a co private contractual just like helios River. go look at helios River. every once in a while there'll be a good video there because they won't lie to you they have a contract with with uh, nasa or the government wherever they, they get the stuff and they get everything and they just show it and they don't give you a story they just show you pictures and data and that's what i try to tell you too is pictures and data Okay, now if you look inside our, this shot here, you'll have Earth, and you'll see the dark side because the Earth is directly off this magneticism that you see right here, okay? So if you go directly up on the magneticism, there's Earth right there, the little white spot, and you'll end up seeing the gray spot. Let me zoom in to 400 or we'll go to 1,000. Now, you can always believe me, folks, because you can always freeze my shots if you get a, some kind of a screen-saving shot picture, and I'm not advertising for anybody. Eventually, I will probably end up breaking down in with... Uh, some kind of real good to my charitable foundation from one of the screen saving companies uh, if they put some advertising dollars out maybe I'll take some advertising money but otherwise we're showing you data that they can't stop you now you can see the dark side of the earth that the sun's not hitting okay so the sun's over here in this shot and ie the truth bleeds because there you got Mars that they mark and also they marked Mars over there and also when you look in here you'll see the bright side of earth Okay, because you follow magneticism up, and you know Earth is in the shot, and there it is. And more than likely, this is uh, the moon orbit around Earth, more than likely. And also, at least there's a halo out there that's on us on Earth, out there in space. And as you can see, there's the bright side, and Mars is over here, and the sun is hitting us, and there's the dark side of Earth right there on that side. And yes, we have these dark objects out in space, folks. We are in material in space right now that we've never, ever been around, either that or they have never told us about. And basically, it's a supergiant material in the asteroid belt, in Milky Way galaxy, and other galaxies melding together right now. And in the close, in the big bangs, big bangs, not just a big bang, proximity right now in space, okay? So we pop out of this at 400%. And we'll be able to blow up and go up to showing you what they show you. And you won't see as much, so I'll show you. There is some shots of Jupiter and Mercury today. And there's your dates and time. Okay. 
and yes, Mercury's very small, you see, so it's in there somewhere in that shot, and that's how deep and massive these shots in space are, okay? And IE, you see, the government doesn't show you those little mirrors outside, so the idea that solar and all of them get their shots contractual, and the government has told them, ba you know, basically, I don't know, you'd have to read their, we'd have to see their contracts, so if they want to show, but you sure sh can see when we go to solar that you can end up seeing, and solar can't be selling you fake bake and stuff like that, and you can see this and this, so on one of the shots that NASA gave them, the idea that this and this is there, and I would figure that that's their mirrors on satellite, okay, being bled out. Either that or it's two stars that are in transition with uh, planets with the sun, okay. And also, let me take you to some H1 shot. Let me reemphasize this as I'm in here, is the magnetic metagram, okay. Watch how much they're not showing you because the idea that you will see that action there if you watch this video okay and basically i'll show you right here this is it this is the action on navy today real-time movie page okay and that is what's going on with the sun folks there's that much ass massive material up there around the sun and so forth and let me take you to this one this is actual footage too i give you truth data folks this stuff is beating the shit out of the sun. The sun is in the supergiants. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. No scientist is going to say it there and say that it knows anything about astronomy or astrology and sit there and say that the sun is not in the supergiants. The sun is in the supergiants main sequence, and the sun is part of the Milky Way galaxy, and we have galaxies melding together right now and asteroid belts. I'll pop over here to the shots real fast. This is what we've been watching on material up there at the sun. I've blown into 1,000% before. It's not really much. You can see just about as much when you're looking at it at 400%. Okay? I'll also show you where you can go to your shots on your, and you can zoom up by using this tool right here, folks, when you're looking at your picture. So when you do your snapshot, you can zoom in just like Bino does, and you can zoom in on each shot. So the idea that that's the current behind, and remember where these angles at are on all these shots, because this is stuff that's not, your telescope, your tax paying dollars, and you get to see out into space, folks, and see this stuff with no BS, okay? Straight up dates, data, sharing, Bino holds nothing back. Earth is right here, folks. This stuff is this close to Earth, okay, at certain angles, okay? So it's out, out there, and no matter what, when you are looking at your shots that I was showing you off the government one, right here, we go back in, and this is so I should show you that I'm not fake baking you. This material is there in our area of Earth. Okay, all this stuff is electronic images, and there's planets there, folks. There's a ton of stuff around Earth right now, okay? This is what I had blowed up to a 1,000 a little while ago, okay? So this stuff is all out there around Earth, okay? That's a faraway shot. Take you back in, and this is the darkness of space out there on H1B, and there is Lovejoy still. And there's the magnetic transitions, and you can go to a worldwide telescope, and no matter what, our massive meatball is still there. And it's not transparent, folks. It, it thing is so goddamn far back in space, in normally dark space, and the flare here, just live, the, the, the 25th shot, still shows you that the idea that that is a massive solar flare, sun blowing and getting its shit kicked out of it, that the idea that you still see it, it's not a transparency of a sun or a supergiant, folks. It's just way the hell back behind all these stars. That's why you still see all these stars. It's not a transparency. It's not a hologram. That massive meatball, just like when you watch the Space Cowboys movies, the big son of a bitch, big son of a bitch, the big son of a buck is back there, folks. It's humongous. Up behind ne Neptune and Jupiter. Pluto. Way back, and there, if you go to Worldwide Telescope, you will see and find the suns that they have peered into and found. Let's go to H2B here, up behind Neptune and Uranus, okay? Now, that's the sun to the right, and basically, that's the Earth there, and the idea that this stuff is out there between us and the sun, and it's got triangulation, folks. Bam, 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 bam. It's like a diamond, okay? That's not Earth, folks. Earth is right here. This isn't Earth, okay? So that's our brightness that we end up seeing at the South Pole. So more than likely, when you're looking at this shot, remember the massive distance and how much faster we can get to Mars now. Remember the Chinese satellites up there? Because it's that far, two years to get there to Earth, okay? Remember, this stuff is out behind us to the South Pole. That comet was this close, folks. 
that was uh, on Fireball earlier, and the idea that it doesn't show what constellation or or fall. Keep watching videos, and you're my next.